morning students today class the, i'm going to discuss the very important question of this chapter that is alternating voltage applied to a series alternating applied to a series lcr circuit so till now up to the last class we apply alternating voltage individually to l c and r now we are connecting these three in series and applying the alternating voltage so by using this one we can calculate what is the resultant voltage impedance current and phase angle let us know what are all these things okay first we apply let us take all these three elements what are the three elements l c r this is inductor having inductance l capacitor this is capacitor capacitor c and a resistor of resistance capital r connected to an alternating voltage okay what is the voltage applied here v is equals to vm sin omega t as we know all these circuital elements are connected in series combination what will happen current flows is constant that is the current flowing through the circuit is i and potential across each substance this is vl this is vc and this is vr you know this inductor opposes the this inductor opposes the flow of current that is called what inductive reactance xl the opposition offered by the capacitor is called capacitive reactance xc and the resistance offered by this is called what r so as we know that in series combination current is constant potential across each element will varies let us see the phase diagram here in inductor current is constant so current is this one and voltage leads by pi by 2 right what about capacitor this is i and this is v voltage lacks current by pi by 2 and resistor both are along same direction so these are the phase individual phase diagrams of these three elements if you write for these three elements at once for example here if you take current as the reference because current is constant here and the resultant voltage is v now first case inductance current leads voltage so as was this is what vc okay next case capacitor this is sorry ma this is inductor leads right vl capacitance lacks vc and this is vr okay vl leads current by 90 vc lacks current by 90 resistor and current along same direction so we have written like this now let us take that one assumption what is the assumption see here vl is acting upwards vc is acting downwards so what this is vl and this is vc what we are assuming that the condition is if vl is greater than vc vl is greater than vc then the net is what vl minus vc is acting upwards for example two forces are acting on upward and downward both are equal the net is zero if vl is greater than vc the net is towards the direction which is having more voltage let us say this point as a this is b this is o and c what we have to calculate here we have to calculate for expression for resultant voltage impedance current and phase angle all these things we are going to calculate what are the things we are calculate ma expression for voltage which voltage resultant voltage 
resultant current and impedance what is impedance let us know that ok right now first resultant voltage I want to calculate the resultant voltage this is what OB I want to calculate. So, resultant voltage can be calculated as first all these things we can potential across inductor L right what is potential across inductor V L is equal to if the current flowing is I R M S into X L. Similarly, potential across C V C is equal to I R M S into X C. Then potential across R nothing but resistance that is what V R is equal to I R M S into capital R. We got V L V C and V R from the phase diagram I want the resultant voltage resultant voltage along which direction OB. So, OB square is equal to OC square plus OA square since is a rectangle opposite sides are equal OB is equal to OA. What is OB resultant voltage V V square equals to what is OA V R right yes v r whole square plus v l minus v c whole square that implies the resultant voltage across the circuit is equal to what root of v r square plus v l minus v c whole square. So, this is what resultant voltage as we know that the total resistance offered is z then we can write this as what ok. Let us write IRMS. Sorry, this is what VRMS resultant voltage. VRMS is equal to root of what is VR ma? IRMS square into R square plus IRMS into XL minus IRMS into XC whole square. So, we can take IRMS whole square here common right what do you get IRMS if you send outside it becomes R square plus XL minus XC whole square is equals to VRMS ok. Here IRMS square we have taken outside means what root of IRMS square is IR here also IRMS square is inside to XL minus XC whole square from this equation what we can write here. V RMS by I RMS is equal to R square plus XL minus XC whole square. This is under root. Put we are going to consider that Z is equal to V RMS by I RMS. What is this? Impedance. What is this? Z is called what ma? Impedance. So, then we get Z is equal to root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. This is called what impedance of the circuit means the total resistance offered by all the circuital elements present in the circuit is called what impedance. Clear? Yes. For example, next phase angle. What is phase angle? Let us see that. Let us assume that this the resultant is making an angle phi. From this triangle, tan phi is equal to what? Opposite side by adjacent side. What is the opposite side? VL minus VC. Adjacent side is VR. Then what you can write my here? Tan phi is equal to what? OB. Sorry. CB by OC. C B by O C. C B is equal to what? O A by O C. So, what is O A? V L minus V C by V R. 
as we substitute all the values irms into xl minus irms into xe by irms into r if you take irms com can common irms get cancelled what do you get xl minus xe by r so this is the phase angle that is what phi is equals to tan inverse of xl minus xe by r okay if you want to represent the same thing as a triangle here what you can write here this is cb this is a the resultant we consider as z and this is r this is xl minus xc angle making is what phi as we know power factor as we first discussed that power factor is what cos phi what is cos phi adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side is z hypotenuse is sorry adjacent side is r hypotenuse is z so this is the value for power factor now this case we can apply so many things right what are the things we can apply here what are the things we can apply for example if assume that xl minus x xl is equals to xc if xl is equals to xc what happens z is equals to root of r square plus xl minus xc whole square xl is equals to xc this becomes zero then z is equals to r then cos phi is equals to z by z that is equals to what 1 so the phase angle between the circuit is what zero is it right so if xl is equals to xc then the circuit element becomes what resistive circuit for example if xl is greater than xc we already proved if xl is greater than xc then what we can say that if xl is greater than xc tan phi is positive so if tan phi is positive means what inductive reactance is more than or voltage leads the angle by phi voltage leads current by phi okay similarly if xl is less than xc then tan phi is negative then what we can write here voltage lacks current by phi means in some points they will give that voltage leads current means we should consider xl minus xc in the problem if they give that current leads voltage means we should consider xc minus xl so that is the logic we should understood here that we assume a condition xl is greater than xc that's why we got the answer what xl minus xc whole square in other cases we can consider xc minus xl also then what circuit that in that overall voltage leads or lacks the current if voltage leads current xl is greater than xc if voltage lacks current xl is less than xc now here we said that one definition that is what impedance what is impedance it is represented by the letter z formula is very simple that right? z is equals to v rms by rm i rms r vm by im what it explains is we said that if there is only resistor that is called what resistive circuit if there is only inductor that is called inductive circuit if there is only capacitor that is called capacitor if there are more than two elements now present we have three elements that opposition offered by all the elements l c and r or l and c or c and r any two elements if there is one element we have specific name resistive inductive and capacitive if there are more than one element that is two elements then it is called what impedance so the opposition offered by all the all the 
circuital elements all the circuit circuital elements to the flow of ac to the flow of ac is called impedance is called what ma impedance next one is admittance if it is opposed impedance if it is allow admittance so we can simply say that the reciprocal of impedance the reciprocal of impedance is called admittance okay <clears throat> clear ma right now y is equals to what 1 by z that is equals to i rms by v rms so this is about very 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 important question alternating voltage applied to a series lcr circuit what we discuss that is very simple concept that we have taken the circuit elements which are connected in series what and all we connected in series see i will explain here only no need to worry just once again we consider l c r applied some alternating voltage what is alternating applied v the voltage across inductance is vl capacitance is vc resistance is vr here in this case voltage leads current by 90 here it lags by 90 and here both are along same direction what is the voltage across inductance vl is equals to i rms into xl as you know xl is inductive reactance vc is i rms into xc vr is i rms into r if you draw the phase diagram this is current this is voltage right the resultant voltage is this one here leads inductance vl this is vc right and this is vr so now it forms one rectangle i want the resultant ob so we applied hypothagoras theorem sorry pythagoras theorem v square is equals to v r square plus v l minus v c whole square what is v r we substituted on all this we got z is equals to root of r square plus x l minus x c whole square under root if you draw the phase diagram this is the result and right so it is making angle phi this is r this is z this is xl minus xc tan phi is equals to opposite side by adjacent side xl minus xc by r cos phi is called power factor opposite side by sorry hypotenuse by adjacent side r by z okay so adjacent side by hypotenuse or by z so this question is very important for five marks ma don't neglect that is it clear so just note it down any doubts you can ask that is it clear students yes thank you